Hello everyone. Today is a great day because I'm going to tell you the story of Paula's birthday party. Today is also a good day because we're going to learn how to count. If someone showed you this and said, how many elephants are there? What would you say? Would you say, I don't know, or I'm not quite sure, or lampshade? Well, if you'd say lampshade, I can't really help. But if counting's your problem, then today is a truly great day. I'll tell you the story and you'll see what I mean. Kippa and her best friend Salima are going to a birthday party. The party is at Paula's house just down the road. Paula will be seven years old today. Salima and Kippa are very excited because all their friends have been invited and there will be balloons and cake and candles and presents. Kippa's brother Chad is on his way to the park to play football and he has agreed to take Kippa and Salima down the road to Paula's house before he goes. Salima picks up her present for Paula and Kippa gets her coat. Then they all set off for the party. Paula has asked everyone to take one toy to the party. Which toy would you take? I might take my little Bo Peep doll. Or I might take my mighty robot warrior. Who knows? Anyway, Kipper decided to take her big blue teddy bear. Here's her big blue teddy. Can you count how many big blue teddies there are? One. So, how many big blue teddies are there? One. Now look, Big Blue Teddy has a special badge on for the party. What does it say? It says one. Point to the number on the badge and say one. One. Good. How many badges are there? Count one. And how many Big Blue Teddies are there? One. Good. Now Kipper was really trying to look her best for the party, so she was wearing her brand new shoes. She was very proud of them and they were very smart. How many new shoes has Kipper got? Count. One, two. That's right, there are two of them. This was so she could have one for each foot. Obviously. One, two. So, how many shoes are there? Two. Yes. Well done. Well, it doesn't take long before Kippa and Salima arrive at the party. They say goodbye and thank you to Chad for bringing them, hang up their coats and rush to the garden where everyone is playing games. Later on, we'll see what games they were playing. But first, have a look at Kippa's coat. How many buttons does it have? One, two, three. Yes, three. And this is the number three. Count the buttons with me again. One, two, three. Well done. So how many coat buttons are there? Three. Now I think one of those coat buttons looks different to the others. Can you see which one it is? Point to it if you can. It's this one, isn't it? What colour is this? Green. So how many buttons are red? One, two, two. And how many are green? One. Yes. In the garden, Paula gave everyone a special party hat to wear. Here are some of them. How many are there? One, two, three, four. Yes. Count them with me again. One, two, three, four. So, how many party hats are there? Four. Yes. Now, which of them is the tallest? Point to the hat which is taller than the others. It's this one. And how many have got red bands around them? Point to them and count. One, two, two. Good. My great uncle Ifor promised to make me a hat once. I'll never forget. 
He took a tape measure and wound it round my head, then pulled it tight to see what size I was. When he pulled it tight, I waited until it felt about right and said, There, that's lovely. That will do just fine. Are you sure? he said. Yes, I said. And this is the hat I got as a result. A tape measure hat. Oh well. Back at the party, it's time for everyone to come inside to play indoor games. When they do, Salima takes off her gloves and puts them in her pocket very carefully. Salima loves her gloves. And if I show you a picture of them, you'll see why. Look, there's a little face for each of the fingers. How many fingers are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Point at each finger and count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So how many fingers are there again? Five. Now how many faces have got short hair? One, two, three. Good. And how many have long hair? One, two. Good. I've got some special gloves, which were also made for me by my great uncle Ifor. Unfortunately, I think he found it a bit hard to work without his tape measure. This one is actually a bit tight. And unfortunately, this one is a bit loose. But it was a jolly nice thought. Now, the first game to play was Kipper's favourite, Pass the Parcel. All the children sat down in a line. Can you tell how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Count them with me again. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Very good. How many are wearing hats? One, two, three, four. And can you see who's got the parcel? Yes, it's Kipper. After pass the parcel, it was time to bring in Paula's birthday cake. Paula thinks it's the best cake she's ever seen. Here it is. It's her favourite colour, which is pink. It's dripping with icing, which she loves. And it's enormous, so there's loads for everyone. And of course, it's got candles on. How many candles has it got? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. That's because Paula is seven years old. Now, point and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Ah, here's a cake for me. How sweet. And look, a candle for every year of my life. Thank you. Look. I'll blow them all out. <sighs> Paula tried to blow hers out too, but she didn't manage to do as well as me. Can you see how many candles Paula managed to blow out? One, two, three, four. Yes. Now, how many didn't go out? One, two, three. How many red candles are there? One, two, three, four. Paula's mum and dad had decorated the whole house for her birthday. There were streamers, 
and paper chains and balloons everywhere. Now, Kipper loved balloons more than anything else. She decided that she would try and collect as many as she possibly could in the time it took her to say, rubber dabba wobba wocka wocka bamba slam backa tapper wop bam boomer banga bang bop bop bibbidi bop 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 zap. Salima helped her out by saying, ready, steady, go. Well, Kipper rushed all over the place and managed to collect all these balloons. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Let's count them all up together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now, how many of them are red? One, two, three. And how many are blue? One, two. Excellent. Now comes the most exciting part for Paula. It's time to open her presents. And look how many she's got. What an enormous pile of presents. How many do you think there are? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. Nine. Say nine. Let's count them together again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's take a closer look at Paula's presents. Can you see how many green ones there are? One, two. Look at the yellow one. What do you think is in there? Well, I happen to know what's in that present. I'll show you. Crayons, how lovely. Can you count how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Very well done. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten crayons to draw and colour with. You know, you can draw the most amazing pictures with just a few crayons. I knew a boy once, many years ago. He drew a picture of me that I still have today. I liked him very much. Unfortunately, he didn't like me very much. Oh well. Now it's time for some party games, including some songs you can sing along to. Here's the first one, which is a counting game. Do the actions now. So, when the song says, put a number of fingers in your lap, do that. And when it says point a number of fingers at the ceiling, do that. But if someone says to you, make a ball appear out of nowhere, tell them that that can't be done. OK? Take it away, children. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, then put it in. To the ceiling, point to the floor, then put them in your lap. Three little fingers, three little fingers, three little fingers, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, then put them in your lap. Four little fingers, four little fingers, four little fingers, clap, clap, clap. Point 
point to the ceiling, point to the floor, then put them in your lap. Five little fingers, five little fingers, five little fingers, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, then put them in your lap. Now here's a song which you might know. I think it's one of the best songs in the whole world. It's One Man Went to Mow. Do you know the name of the dog in this song? It's Spot. So every time the dog's mentioned, you can shout out his name. Let's sing it together. One man went to mow, went to mow a meadow. One man and his dog went to mow a meadow. Two men went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Two men, one man and his dog, went to mow a meadow. Three men went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Three men, two men, one man and his dog, went to mow a meadow. Four men went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Four men, three men, two men, one man and his dog, went to mow a meadow. Five men went to mow. Went to mow a meadow Five men, four men, three men, two men One man and his dog Went to mow a meadow Five men, four men, three men, two men One man and his dog Went to mow a meadow And here's one about potatoes One, one potato, potato, two potato, three potato, four Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more that's quick, isn't it? Can you count the potatoes that quickly? Let's try again. One, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. You can play a finger game to this next song by holding out three fingers, one for each of the red cherries. Then pretend your other hand is a blackbird, gobbling up all of the cherries. Three red cherries left on the tree along came a blackbird said these will do for me he ate number one he ate number two he ate number three now there's none left for me if you would like to play a game form a circle four of you can pretend to be currant buns in the baker shop in the middle of the circle a boy and a girl can then each take turns buying a currant bun with a penny. Four currant buns in a baker's shop Fat and round with sugar on the top Along came a boy with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away Three currant buns in a baker's shop Fat and round with sugar on the top Along came a girl with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away Two currant buns in a baker's shop Fat and round with sugar on the top Along came a boy with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away one currant bun in a baker shop Fat and round with sugar on the top Along came a girl with a penny one day Bought a currant bun and took it away Four Three Two One There aren't any left I love eggs. Do you? You can boil them for breakfast or use them to make cakes. I have four chickens in the garden. Of course, they lay eggs, but they eat up all the slugs and snails in the garden as well. My best chicken is Hickety Pickety. She lays the most eggs. Hickety Pickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Sometimes nine and sometimes ten Hickety, pickety, my black hen Hickety, pickety, my black hen She lays eggs for gentlemen Sometimes nine and sometimes 
rickety my black hen. Here's one that's a bit more relaxed about two little birds. Two little dicky beds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Imagine it's a really hot day down at the pond. All the local frog family are sitting around, croaking, eating bugs, and doing that thing with their eyes where they go... Well, this is what happens when one by one they decide to go for a swim. Join in if you can. Six little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating some most delicious bugs One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool Now there are just five speckled frogs glug, glug. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating some most delicious bugs one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are just four speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are just three speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sat on speckled log eating some most delicious bugs one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool now there are just two speckled frogs two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool now there it's just one speckled frog One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log Eating some most delicious bugs He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool Now there are no more speckled frogs clop, clop. Now here's another action song See if you can pretend to do what the song says Here's another quick counting song. See if you can keep up with it. It's all about baby dinosaurs. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. Ten little, nine little, eight little dinosaurs. Seven little, six little, five little dinosaurs. Four little, three little, two little dinosaurs. One little dinosaur baby. I want my mummy. That song's particularly useful if you suddenly see some little dinosaurs and have to count them quickly. Although, of course, that's not something you see very often. Now, after all that activity, it's time for bed. And the last song. Have you ever noticed that whenever you get a group of people together, there's always someone who isn't happy? There's always someone who has to grumble. They'll complain that they've got one less baked bean than everybody else, or that their crinkle-cut crisps aren't quite as crinkly as everybody else's. Well, this song is about someone who wanted more space in a bed full of lots of people, and you'll see what happened as a result. This was the last song at the party, and afterwards it was time to go. So I'll go now too. Goodbye. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Six in the bed and the little one said, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out Five in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out Four in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out Three 
in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Two in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they both rolled over and one fell out. One in the bed and the little one said, Now that I've got this bed all to myself, I'm going to have a nice long sleep. Oh. <sighs> From the children's company.